Hey, I'm Marie Poulin, and in this video, I wanna share with you how we use Notion to plan our company retreat. We are four full-time Canadian employees, and we wanted to create an experience that could be part work, part play, and so a space where we could relax, where we could get creative together, brainstorm, have discussions that are maybe a little trickier to do just through Zoom calls, and just really to foster that team building. We chose a spot halfway between Banff and Calgary. I had never been to Banff before, and we just thought it might be a nice way for us to be in a beautiful environment and just get creative and relax together. And we wanted to create an experience where partners were welcome as well. So it's kind of an interesting mix for us, but it works really well just because our team is so tiny. Because Notion is our project management tool of choice, that's where we did all of the planning for this experience. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we planned it, the core databases that we used to do the planning, and then include a template that you can use yourself if you do wanna do planning for your own company retreat. So let's jump in. So here's our team retreat project. So this is a project that lives inside of our team-wide project database. There are basically four databases that make up this whole retreat planning experience. Projects, actions, tensions, and itinerary. So I'm gonna show you each of these databases and how they work together to create this project retreat page. Projects are the lifeblood of our workspace. Every single thing we work on is a project. I'm a big believer that Things don't get done because there isn't a dedicated project for it. So a project is one way to containerize all of your different tasks. Projects have a start and end date, they have owners, collaborators, notes, references, etc. So everything becomes a project and that's where everything starts. So what you're seeing right now is a project level page. So we made a new project called Team Retreat Fall 2022. You can see it's got a status, owners, a date, a category, a parent project, actions associated with it. Our project database has a ton more properties that you don't need to see. They're very much tailored to the way that we work, but just wanna show you the sort of main pieces of this that make sense for this project. Next, we have actions. Projects are related to actions and they're basically a container to group actions. So there's always a connection between our projects and our actions database. And we assign those actions to the project as they come up and we give them a status. We mark them as done when they're complete. So that's another one of the databases that we rely on heavily for this process. So the first step of this project was really deciding on the location. As a team, we'd had some conversations around where we could go and what we wanted the retreat to feel like. We wanted something that felt like a working vacation. It had elements of getting things done and making strategic decisions, but also still had plenty of time to relax and chill and sightsee along with our partners as well. We basically rented a farmhouse about an hour drive east of Banff. It was a spectacular space. It was perfect for having that space again to relax and have these sort of different satellite zones where people could make food over here, relax over here. There was a fireplace, uh, beautiful big table outside. So it was just really had enough of the different elements that we were looking for. So we bundle all of the travel details at the top. We invited our employees to it so that they could see the date, the vibe, the travel details, how far it is from the airports. And we started just to create a space where everybody could add their details here. So once the accommodations were booked, we asked everyone to add their bookings, whether it was flight or drive, everybody could add their details here and we could start to coordinate arrival and departure times. Below the travel details, we have food and dietary restrictions. And so we asked everybody to add any allergies or preferences. We had a little place to brainstorm meal ideas and then a simple grocery list that we could pull up once we were in town and going to the grocery store and we could pick up everything that we needed. Now the next major database that we integrated into this whole process is called the Tensions Database. The Tensions Database is something we've used for a long time. I think is an absolute must for teams. Tensions is how we bring up items for discussion and resolution. The database is how we're able to work asynchronously without all of the sort of pinging that you might get with Slack and email. Because we're using Notion for our task management, this is the place that we wanna streamline and keep all of those conversations. We review the Tensions each week as part of our weekly team sync on Mondays to review anything that has not been resolved yet and might need a little bit of discussion. But we can also add tensions throughout the week and resolve them as we go. And that's how we can resolve these things asynchronously without needing to always have team meetings, etc. 
So in the months leading up to the retreat, we started to add some items to this database that we thought, you know what, that's a perfect thing to discuss in person because maybe we want more creative energy around it. Maybe it needs more discussion and more opinions. And there's just things that are going to be easier to talk about in person than it would be to do through text or asynchronous communication. So we kind of bundled those up and saved them for our time at the retreat. Let's open up one of these here just so you can see what this looks like. Usually we resolve things by tactical or strategic and in our strategic meetings, that's where we handle all of our strategic issues. In this case, we added a new one called retreat and that way we could group those and kind of deal with them all at once as a team. Some of these tensions are incredibly simple. Uh, we've mostly got a created by date, a status, owner, and by default, any new items that get added to this database will have a status of not started as we're working on them, we'll change the status. And then once they're complete, we can mark them as resolved. Now for the purposes of the retreat, we laid out a really loose itinerary. So I'll show you what this looks like. You'll see we started to make a really simple itinerary here. So this is an inline database in board view. Board view is great because we can drag things around and kind of change our mind. Maybe we decide we wanted to go to the spa on Thursday instead of Tuesday. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of plan when you're not certain yet when the dates are going to be and when you want to make things happen. So we started to place the big rocks, the things that we knew we wanted to do, different excursions, we wanted to go to this Nordic spa, and we started to plot these in, including our planning and strategy sessions. And so we started with this just really basic board view. And then as we got closer to the retreat and we did our strategic team check-in, we started to map out which days are we going to make certain things happen. And we did some of this planning as well on the Tuesday after arriving. But if we turn on these properties, you'll be able to see that we started to group our topics by certain days based on, you know, some of the conversations are going to be more similar. And so we would group those together. So product strategy related stuff all got grouped together. Um, you know, some of this content planning and theming and that sort of thing got bundled together. And so we just started naturally organizing things into these different days of the week. We also still wanted to keep it really loose. So again, we're not tied to any of these specifically, but we just wanted to get the big rocks in place and then leave some open time so folks could um, hike during the day, take advantage of this beautiful location that we were in and all that good stuff. And then throughout the months leading up to the retreat, we just encouraged everyone to, you know, add activities, restaurants, anything that you want to see and do. We just had folks add those ideas there and then we could open them up, take a look and add those to our list of activities here. We just had a couple key strategic conversations that needed to happen each of those days. So I'll show you what this looked like. Let's say strategy session. And this is, uh, we'll call this T3. So Tuesday, the third session. And I would just use that strategy template. So this is an idea that we had. We're going to assign a date to it. Day of the week is Tuesday. And so what we can do is either add a topic that's already been added to the tensions database, or I can add a new tension here. And then that's defaulted to not started. And then we know what we're going to be discussing that day. So we loosely planned some of the things that we wanted to do. We put in some space for activities and then we would add and clarify any details around that. So maybe it's hiking, maybe it's playing games. If there was anything that needed bookings or reservations, we get those into the database to make sure that we made the right calls to get those booked. So for example, we had a spa day, we put the pricing in there and everyone could decide if they wanted to do that. So all the information is kind of contained in this itinerary here. Let's say we are doing our first planning and strategy session. Here's the topic that we need to talk about. I can click on this, open it up. I can see some of the team exercise and card sorting stuff that we wanted to do. And we can add any next steps that come out of that resolution here. As soon as attention has a next step, we mark it as resolved. And that allows us to kind of clear out that tensions database. In some cases, the tension might span multiple sessions and that's no problem. So again, we can see that this was talked about on Tuesday in two different sessions. So then what we did is we started to group these by the itinerary date and I'll turn on those properties so you can see what that looks like. And so now we've got a status property, the name of the tension, when we're going to discuss it and the next steps. We gave ourselves a couple of different options for how we wanted to view this information. Now, because this event is passed and all of these topics are already resolved, I've just switched out the filters here. But generally speaking, I would say uh, status is not resolved. 
they're all resolved, so they're not going to show up here. And then I can see the past tense. So what are the ones that we did discuss and we did resolve? And again, this is going to be filtered to type is retreat. And let's add, make sure we add that status is resolved. Great. And I can see all the next steps associated with those. And then if we want to see them grouped in terms of when we actually discuss them, I can see them here. And then as we're moving through our days and we're making different decisions about what we want to do with the company, naturally a number of projects are going to fall out of that. And so part of our sort of Friday cleanup day became to make sure to review our projects database. And it's helpful to view these by person. So we really wanted to make sure that we weren't piling on too many projects because one of our weaknesses is each of us having too many projects on the go. So we really wanted to be ruthless about our focus for the next quarter and for the first quarter of the new year. So showing a view of our projects by priority and by person on the team allows us to make sure we can get a sense of who's got what workload, how many projects do we each have on the go, and we can resort we can put some projects on hold, we can elevate some projects and create any new projects right here from this team retreat page. The other thing we did was we screencast this onto the TV so that all of us could be on the same page and talk through this all at once and we're all looking at the same screen. So it was just a really simple, really great way to work through this and have a sort of central source of truth. So we know all of the topics that we needed to discuss, what's going on, what's the itinerary. It's still really flexible, but it just gives all of us a point of reference to make sure that we are all on the same page and we know what we want to talk through. So there you have it. It's four databases working together. The projects database, actions for all next steps, tensions for all discussions, and a simple itinerary board view that is custom just for this event. And then we can always remove that relation after the event is complete because we don't need that permanent relation between the itinerary and the tensions database. If you found this helpful, I've got a company retreat template. You can basically add this into your project database, assuming you've already got a projects database, move that in there. There's a tensions inline database here. If you don't already have a tensions database, a place to add your food activities, sightseeing ideas, your itinerary here. And if I open up these tensions, you'll see there's a next steps property here. I would update that and connect it to your actions database or your task database, assuming that you've got one that the whole team uses. Just replace that. You can edit it, turn that into a relation, scroll down, choose relation and choose your actions database. Make any changes that you want and uh, feel free to explore and uh, set up your company retreat. We had a wonderful time in Banff, Lake Louise, Canmore. It's such a beautiful area, such an incredible part of Canada. The view was spectacular. The mountains are breathtaking. This was our first time doing something like this. Banff is an incredible part of the world. So glad that we went there. So glad I got a chance to experience it but I'm always open to hearing what is working for other people. So if you have ideas for how to make a team retreat more awesome, drop a note in the comments. I would love to hear it. Otherwise, grab that template and have fun booking your next team retreat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.